Well, planners are narrowing down a list of four potential routes linking southern Indiana to central Indiana in what's being called the Mid-States Corridor Project. As Adam Pinsker reports, they expect to identify a preferred route this fall. Just a few hours south of the hustle and bustle of Indianapolis, driving through southern Indiana makes for a scenic trip no matter what time of year. But the rolling hills and farmland will be more accessible in the future with the completion of the Mid-States Corridor. It's travel time, it's logistics, it's connectivity, it, it's talking about improved connections. And when you have improved connections for both uh, people and goods, it generally leads to more opportunities. There are four potential routes, all of them beginning in the southern Indiana town of Rockport and progressing through Jasper. Each proposed route ends somewhere along I-69 between Washington and Bloomington, the exact spot is up in the air. The project team expects to identify a preferred corridor this fall. To reduce costs, the project team eliminated the possibility of constructing a freeway. Instead, they will consider an expressway, which has two lanes in each direction, or what's called a Super 2. A Super 2 is at least one travel lane in each direction, and then you would have a passing or auxiliary lane or a wider shoulder where appropriate throughout that route. The project team is examining combinations of alignments and considering upgrades to the existing US 231, which already makes up a good chunk of the proposed routes. Mid-States Corridor officials plan to hold public hearings this fall to discuss the preferred route. Even when we have a preferred corridor this fall, as I said, there's more work to do. Tier two environmental studies will follow. Those are much more detailed and those will identify the specific alignments within that preferred corridor. It could take two years to finish the tier two study. Before any construction can begin, the federal government has to sign off on the final plans. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Adam Pinsker.